Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. We've come into the town of Pine to do a bit of exploring, but before we do, we're gonna have some breakfast here at a local restaurant called Early Bird Cafe, where they serve breakfast all day long. Best biscuits and pancake on the rim. Yum, yum. It is the 4th of July, so I just wanna say happy 4th, everyone. Definitely a cute little town. I'll, I'll do the same. Okay. It's a very simple place, not overly decorated or anything. Look, that's their security, is a hole drilled into the concrete with a metal bar. And the flickering light gives it that old world vibe. They even have a fancy AC unit. They've got really good prices, actually. Thank you. I ended up getting the biscuit stack, which has the egg in there with the sausage and gravy with a side of potatoes. Yum, yum. Oh my God, look at Jeff's French toast. That looks yummy. That's like the best French toast I've seen in a while. Ooh, look at that. So there's the biscuit, sausage, and then the egg, and then the sausage gravy over it. So good. Well, I will say that the place didn't look the greatest, but the food was really good, and they gave you a nice quantity for the price. I do even have leftovers. I guess that's tomorrow's breakfast. Welcome to Payson, Elevation 5000, and it was founded in 1892. So we're gonna stop here and get some gas because we're at a quarter of a tank. Oopsie. Huh? Oh, this is where I picked up the truck. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is where I met the guy and, and bought my truck. Very cool. Gas is 363 and diesel is 385. It's better than back there. What was it? Uh, 379? I think I, uh, this was the first place I filled up the truck. It was. <laughs> Pretty cool. We've come from above 7,000 feet elevation down to 5,000. You can definitely tell it is much warmer down here. Although in the shade it feels fine, but it's the sun that's extreme. It is 96 degrees here in Payson today. So we're probably not going to be able to do a hike. It would be just too hot for everybody, including the dogs. I heard it's, uh, what did you say, 106? Um, oh, 104 in uh, Phoenix, which is about an hour from here or so. A little more than an hour. Welcome to Rim Country. So if we find anything to do in Payson, it's probably gonna be indoors. That means usually shopping. Ooh, thrifting. Is it closed? It's free. Ooh, free. What does it say? I work, try me. Look at that, would be perfect <laughs> to replace myself if it wasn't big. Uh, yeah, they're not open. That sucks. This is the Humane Society thrift store. It looks like they have a bunch of really good prices. Five bucks, $40, 20 bucks. Sure, all the money they make goes to help the Humane Society. That's awesome. I wish they were open. Oh, look, there's a thrift store across the street as well. I want another one and another one. Oh, nice. It's like thrift store alley here. Okay. Oh, it feels nice in here. Looks like they're mainly clothes though. I don't need any more of those. Ooh, creepy doll. <laughs> Jimmy, do you need this? You need a doll? Like, creepy? Oh, ooh. Guess that's little baby doll clothes. Toys. Oh my God, how old is this thing? They have a fluorescent camp light. That's too weird. Does it even work? This is a pet room? No, it's like a baby room, but it has camping stuff too. 
This is all pets. Yeah. Is it? Oh, I thought it was baby clothes. It is no, the, pets. The baby's across the house. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, look at it. Yeah, yeah tie-dye. Everybody needs tie-dye in their life. Unfortunately, the other thrift store is closed, so I guess that's it for our thrifting. Too bad that one's closed. And then there's even another one called Trinket to Treasures. They're closed as well. Well, maybe we'll come back when it's not a holiday. It feels like someone's got the blow dryer on low heat right now, so it's not very pleasant. Y'all are in the shade. It feels pretty decent here. Y'all ready to go back though? Back to camp? <laughs> That's cute. Well, it's definitely just way too hot today. What you think, Kellogg? Too hot? So I grabbed an iced coffee from Mickey D's and I think Jeff's grabbing him an ice cream. The, the ice cream machine was down at Mickey D's, so we came to the gas station. And we're just gonna go back to camp where it's cooler. Mmm, so good. Is she bringing you back some ice cream, Kellogg? Yes? So it seems like Payson's Walmart is pretty RV friendly. We just went by and there were about 10 RVs there. But honestly, it's just, it's too hot. Why would you want to be camping on blacktop in this heat? I just feel like, uh-uh, that's not a good thing. No, not a good thing. No, no, no. Are we trying to get some iced coffee too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Strawberry. Mama Joe's Italian Grill. Ooh. Oh, there's the pie bar. We want to go there. So we should go sometime while we're here. It's not a very big town. I think we're almost to the end of it. Very steep and windy road this is. Back to camp. Look at the view though out there. That strawberry that we just went through. Gotta be careful not to overheat climbing this huge mountain in this heat. Guess I'm not the only one getting kinda hot. Made it back to the top of the mountain where the temp feels cool. It's in the 80s. Doesn't feel like someone has a hot blow dryer to your face. There's Junction 260. That's west that heads towards Cottonwood and Camp Verde. And like I've mentioned before, if you just continue straight on this road, it heads back up to Winslow and Interstate 40. I think we're just a couple miles from our turn to camp. A lot of the sites that were empty yesterday are now filling up. I guess it's because it's the 4th of July. And some of the sites that only had one person, it's like they were the scout, because now there are like 10 or more people or 10 or more rigs in each site. We just dropped off Jeff and Kellogg. They're camping a little further down from us. He didn't want to go through all these rocks, but it's definitely nice to be back up in this elevation, much cooler. It was fun visiting Payson, but it's a little steamy there. And I got, I can imagine being in Phoenix right now at like a hundred plus degrees. It's just, it's not steamy, it's hot there, just dry and hot. Right, Mumu? 
You glad to be back up here? Oh, oh, she's gone. See? She doesn't like to sit up here. She likes to be back there on her pillow, relaxing and stretching out. <laughs> Someone asked why she's always back there. Thankfully, we made it back to camp. It's about the mid 80s here. Back home, it's the mid 90s. So, yeah, I'm glad not to be back home right now. Just gonna enjoy this weather and relax for a while. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day here at camp. I decided to go ahead and change locations because I had absolutely no internet there and I need to get some work done. And luckily, the spot that I wanted cleared out, so nobody's there and the internet's awesome. Well, I wouldn't say awesome, but it's much better than the last place. The last place was definitely a bit challenging to get out of, but this might be a little challenging to get into because of the mud holes. Jeff put a few rocks there just so I wouldn't sink, which is a good idea, hopefully. So I just helped him gather a few more rocks and I think we're good. Mm, Through the trees. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know where you're going. Are you yeah, you're fine. If you want to park there. I mean, you can always move. I think that was good. I think I found a good spot. It seems pretty level and there's plenty of sunshine so far. And then not to mention this view that I liked much better. Shame I couldn't get closer, but there are some pretty big rocks there. I don't want to scrape the bottom of my RV, so I think I'm good where I am. What you doing, Kellogg? What you doing? So it's a nice shady spot here on this side, but I like how I'm still getting sun on the roof. It's perfect, Momo. It's perfect, isn't it? Hopefully the internet stays good. Momo, you want some lunch? Hmm? You can get it? Go get it. <laughs> Now this later in the day, the spot I was in actually became very shady. So I ended up moving my rig over here and it has a little bit more sun. There's still some shade, but not as much. Nice sunshine. I put my truck right here at the beginning of the campsite. And luckily since it was sunny, it's starting to dry out these mud puddles. The one in the middle is completely dry. And I think the one at the beginning is almost. Look who's lazy. Why are you laying in the dirt? Your bed's right over there. That's <laughs> silly. Does it feel cool, huh? I'll take you for a walkie walkie later. Well, it feels wonderful now. I think it's the perfect time to take the dogs for a walkie walkie. What y'all think, huh? Is it walkie walkie time? The mud pit at the beginning is not completely dry, but a couple more days and it should be. Turned out to be a beautiful day, although midday got a bit warm, so I'd hate to think what it is in lower elevation. The big huge crowd cleared out. Today was supposed to be the record high in Death Valley. I think they were supposed to reach 135. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. It's like sitting in the oven. 
Now that the fourth's over, there's not as many side-by-sides. I said there was no side-by-sides and then two end up going by us. We ended up turning around. Gets a bit dusty on the road. Tonight we're gonna have some chili cheese dogs with some mac and cheese. Don't be licking your lips, Kellogg, I see you. Oh, we forgot the puppies. Sorry, Mom, I'll get your food. But here's dinner, mac and cheese and chili cheese dog. Yum, yum. Dogs had their dinner, their peanut butter and organic milk to finish it off. Gotta clean your bowl, Mumu. Well, I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna check out more videos, they'll be right over there. If you wanna subscribe or check out Patreon. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. It's gonna be 77. Yeah, it's a high. A week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. I can't wait till then. Yeah.